So in this video, we're going to start by sending tweets to the database using the tweet form. We're also going to, before we start doing that, actually have a timeline where we display a few tweets we create ourselves manually in the database first. So to get started with, let's go ahead and say PHRs and live by make, and we're going to call this inside components timeline. This is where we're going to display all our tweets. So inside here, we should have a timeline component now, which is perfect. And in here, we need a few different things. So inside timeline here, we want to essentially just iterate through all our tweets. That's all we're doing here for now. So just for each tree says tweet. And we just have a key in here and we have the tweet. So inside timeline PHP class, we want to make sure we pass in the view here and we want to make sure we say public tweet tweet and again we need to make sure we're using app models here as well so with that sorted we should now be able to head into home to play the php in here and below here we should be able to say live wire components timeline and then inside the timeline component again we just want to essentially get all the tweets that we can get for this. So all we want to do in here is say public function mount. And we're going to have a void in here because we're just saying this tweets. It's going to be set to tweet when no parent ID latest get. So this is basically we don't want to get comments essentially. And we actually want this to be set to a collection. Just like that. And then inside home here, we should also be able to, so inside the timeline component, we should also be able to say, we could use foils actually. And then we could say empty. And then end foils and just say no trees found. So right now we just get no trees found here. And let's make this actually a dark gray um, 200 and a uh, regular one 7, 800 maybe. There we go. So if we go into our database now, let's head into the clone here. And in here, let's just create our first tweet. So for this one, we can just go ahead and probably copy a tweet or something like that from another one I've done. So in here, I've created a few tweets before. And now I'm just going to take this tweet here, put that in here. Okay, there may be an issue with that. But let's copy the UID at least. So one UID, hi, and we want to put this as tweet one. One and then let's copy the UID in here. Say hi. One tweet. Okay, and let's find out what use ID we have here. We have use ID four. And then we're unable to find component tweet to tweet. So let's go ahead and make that tweet component for now. We're just going to display this tweet inside LiveWire, components, tweet, tweet. And inside our timeline here, we are going to tweets. And actually, we need to rename the folder here to tweet. Sorry. So let's go ahead and make sure we rename that. And then inside here as well, let's rename this to tweets. And 
and in here let's just make sure we say trees like that so in here for now we don't necessarily want to display anything because we just want to essentially seeing it being rendered and added here so even though it may not look very good let's just go ahead in here and say hello there we go it's there so for now we're getting the trees from the database we can essentially go ahead now and start adding things in here so inside our tree here we should just be able to say public trade trade and let's just call this tree model instead there we go and we could just say treat body and we get the text there perfect so for now let's leave it like this and start figuring out how we can actually post anything into our compose form here so let's go ahead and create a public function submit let's go ahead and close these here and let's start submitting some content here and also more importantly upload images all right let's get ahead and start by being able to display the images that we retrieve from here so inside compose we have this treat form here so in here we want to make sure we say public in this case inside tree form we just want public images and um, by default set to null so let's leave it at that for now and then let's start actually displaying any of these images so we want to do this essentially around here before we start showing the treat button here so we want to just have a div in here we want to say x show images uh, class with form flex flex wrap p2 and a pl14 And then we want to have a few different functions in here. We want to have in here a remove image. Sorry, actually, sorry, not a remove image, a like render image. And then here we want to have image pass through. And let's pass through in here saying if type of image equals string, we return the image. If type of it, is um, a file we will return URL create object URL and otherwise we'll turn an empty string to try to avoid breaking anything so this is essentially just to avoid breaking anything here in here we want to just say if this form images as image and if and in here we want to have a relative with an M1. You want to have an image in here. And in here we want to have an all text saying image preview. We want to have um, the image in here with image temporary URL. I think we can actually get rid of this because we're not using Alpine for this part. So let's leave that for now. So we have this temporary URL. And then we we'll just have a few styling here for the image. Just some basic styling. And then below that we want to have a button in here. And this is going to go through to remove image. And then here we want to pass through loop index. We can just say for now and times and let's make sure we also add in the type button and the styling for this one here. Just some basic styling here. We can always make that prettier later on later on if we want to. 
and in here we want to create a public function remove image and in this case all we want to do in there is put in a quick function here which is going to be checking the index and removing it there We also want to say use with power uploads here. And let's take a look at what this looks like now. So currently we're getting an issue here. And I think the reason for that is because we need to iterate through these images as well. So let's just quickly get rid of that in here and say for each this form images as image and we also need to get rid of that up here you probably noticed that already so if I go ahead now I should be able to upload something like this here and it currently doesn't seem to work so let's open up inspector element Okay, there's no error there, so let's go ahead and see what's going on with this one here. So we want to say why model form.images. There we go. And it gets removed easily. Perfect. So now we're ready to compose. So for now, inside compose, we want to first and foremost use this form validate we want to say tweet is going to be equal to off user tweet create we want to import the tweet enum here and then we want to say if empty and in this case we're just going to say this form so if it isn't empty sorry this form images and in here we're going to basically iterate through each image and use the spatty media library to add them in there so let's go ahead and get media library installed there we go so in here we should be able to just go ahead and say required publish um, all the configuration migrated and then inside the treat model in here let's say extends model implements as media use intax with media and inside the user model we also want to make sure we have um, a treat relationship there so this is just a simple has many relationship here And then we should just be able to in here inside where we're composing essentially add all these images to a media collection. So with that sorted we should be able to go ahead now and say broadcast a new tweet created and then this form reset and also add this for the current user for the sign in user the tweet into the timeline or if you're not the current design in use so instead what you can do is you can add it into um, broadcast it so we're gonna do those things but first and foremost let's see if we can just create a tweet with or without an image so I'm just gonna go ahead and say hi 
And let's go into here and see if we have another tree. Currently it doesn't look like it, so we probably need to hook this up here. So let's go ahead and go up here. We want to make sure we go ahead and say submit dot prevent train. And inside here, we just want to have a treat function. And we want to say this wire treat. And then we want to reset the form. For resetting the form, all we want to do is Go ahead and do this. So for this, we just want to go ahead in here and say this images, this circular progress here. On that, we can leave this update circular progress for now. So let's go ahead and see if we can post this. And let's see what happened in the database. It didn't go through, so let's get ahead and see what this image is again. And which component are we talking about here? So I think it's because we need to call this tweet. Because we're calling in here a treat method. So let's go back in and say something. And that's better. So now we're getting a different error. So let's go in here to tree compose form. And let's go in and say validate max 280. And say validate. All right, let's see how that goes. So that didn't get stored, but let's see if we actually reach the method at first. So let's just go and say DD. Treat. Let's go ahead and set in some error handling here. So what we want to do is inside our compose specifically for the body we just want to have something just below the text area here and we also want to add something similar for the image here which we can for now just add down here at the bottom here and that's the problem here so let's go in and for now, just set this to uh, nothing and just only validate the text. And we get something in here where we get content. So let's go in and make sure we correct this to be body. Let's go ahead and delete this. There we go. And I can just continuously tweet here and we get more and more tweets. So this is our Twitter clone for now. No, just joking. Let's get on to um, a bit further with this. So for now, what we want to go ahead and do is we want to inside our timeline here. So we want to create a function, which is going to be adding a tweet directly from here. So let's say public function add tweet. And we want to just say in here on add tweet. In here, we want to pass through a tweet ID and we want this to be just a void. Then we want to say tweet equals to tweet find tweet ID. And if we find the tweet, we want to prepend it into our tweets here. Because we're using a collection here, we can easily just go ahead and do that. So for that done now, let's go ahead and see. Okay, so it didn't get added. 
let's see if there's any issues here. We need to obviously hook it up in here. So let's go ahead and say this, this, this dispatch. And in here, we want to just go ahead and say event. It's going to be at tweet. Tweet ID is going to be tweet ID. There we go. So now we're adding it automatically on this end here. So now on to the other part. We need to essentially broadcast this. So what we want to go ahead and do is inside here, we want to make PHP apps and make event. And I'm going to put this inside a treats folder. Call this treat was created. And inside treat was created. We want to implement should broadcast now. If you implement should broadcast, it will pass it on to a queue. But if you use should broadcast now, it will go on immediately. And here, we want to have a public tweet tweet. And then here, we just want to pass through on a public channel that a tweet was created. And we just want to pass through the tweet ID. And then in here, what we can go ahead and say is public function. Um, and let's call this function in this case. Listen for trade. Then we want to say on. In this case, we're going to say echo tweets tweet was created and in this case we just want to go ahead and do pretty much the same thing in here but in this case we have to say tweet and tweet because we're basing it on this here although we should call this id so let's go ahead and just say tweet id just like that so it's almost the same function here just a tiny bit different so with that sort we now should be able to listen for this real time so let's go ahead and open up safari And let's go to x clone yt the test. Let's go ahead and register. Let's register as Taylor here. There we go. So now we registered as two different people here. Um, we just need to set up our broadcast connection. So let's go ahead and do that in, the day, in here now. So what we're going to do in here is we can essentially set up a broadcast connection using reverb here. So let's go ahead and say PHP Allison reverb star. And let's go ahead and add the different variables. So what we want to do in here, essentially, let's go into our env file for reference here. So we're using port 8080, host 0, 0.0.0, .0 and host name in this case is going to be its clone it the test. And we also want to add the box so we can see what's going on. So for now, if we go in here, 
we should be able to essentially see this happening on the other side. Hi, Taylor. Guess added there. It didn't seem like it got added here, so let's go ahead and see if we need to maybe refresh here as well. Didn't seem to go through, so let's see if we can find the web sockets here. Also in here, let's see what happened. So we did it on channel tweets. Maybe because we're doing this inside a folder, we actually just need to say in timeline here. Let's try again. Okay, let's take a look at why this is not working for you. So let's go into our database and just get rid of all these tweets here. Start from new. And let's keep this here, but actually want to just add this into here, into without an array, essentially. Just like this. We don't want to have an array inside here. So let's see how this goes on now. Okay, let's try to see if we can just die dump on Tweed. It still doesn't seem like we've been uh, retrieving this here, so let's go ahead and see why that may be. Maybe for now, if we try to move this event and see if it's just to do with it being inside a folder, just into here. and see if that fixes it. Oh, actually broadcasting the event may also help. So let's go ahead and do that first. So let's go ahead and say broadcast, new, tree created, um, tree was created in here. And let's broadcast that to others. So I think if we just go ahead now, we should be able to essentially broadcast this here. There we go. So if I go in here and say morning, for example, that seems to work. So that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching it. In the next video, we're going to be styling the tweet up so it actually looks like something valuable. Please hit the like and the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.